A very good afternoon to you all, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you're all good. It is now gonna be Slowpoke Spotlight Hour. Tonight is, a I actually need the shiny for this one. Oh dear, I haven't picked the camera up for a sweet minute. I'm on my way to a swim up raid, which is a couple of things we need to go back through because honestly, it's been a dead week. I haven't done anything since the last spotlight hour. We'll talk about that in a little bit, but Slowpoke, I need the shiny for it. So guarantee we're not gonna get it, but we're gonna bloody well try. We can probably see about 350 or so tonight. Fingers crossed. We're gonna jump into a few clips from Thursday, ladies and gentlemen. I think a Shundo Slow bro, slow poke check. That isn't a shiny, but 771, it's here. Oh, that was close. Nearly stepped in some dog dirt right there. But that 100% IV to start off the video. We've come all the way down through South Ealing because there is word of a hundo slack off. Can it be a shundo slack off? That would be bloody epic. Oh, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. That slack off there should be a hundo. Ah. 601 is Hundo, ah. yeah. Ah, oh, no shiny. Hundo slack off. Second one. Oh, it's only, only Hundo slack off since Dortmund 2019. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed those clips from a couple of days ago. And I'm just gonna kind of show what we've been up to. So mostly I've just been doing gibble trades. I've been doing all the gibble trades for XL Candy and I've now got them saved up for tonight's double transfer. Yeah. We have had a few strokes of luck though. Obviously there's the Abra. Somewhere I picked up 100% Taylor. I think that was a house spawn. I can show you the shiny Psyduck screen record, I think. I. I think I can. The hundos were kind of nuts. We've got 100% gibble from a trade, then the two hundos that you saw from the clips beforehand picked up another 100% slowpoke. Then 100% grimer while recording the podcast last week, and then a couple of lucky trades. This one wasn't even a lucky friends trade. This was a random one. I sent over a Caravine. Another random 100% lucky gibble, which was awesome. That was uh, yesterday. But this morning, got a random 100% lucky timber, which is beautiful. And then the next raid was a shiny. <laughs> okay, I'm redoing this entire section because I think I waffled way too much. I want to talk you through why I wasn't doing content all of last week. And it kind of stems from the root of the slow discovery event itself. I personally felt it was just a bit dead. The spawns were really dull. There's only so much excitement that I can provide for you with checking Slowpoke 20 million times. And unfortunately we're gonna be able to do that tonight. That was the thing, there's a spotlight hour, so why would I waste <laughs> why would I waste your viewing time checking Slowpoke normally? The slack off grind, I got enough XL in the end to max the Hundo's level 50, which is great, but again, like it's just me catching slack off. There's nothing remotely interesting about that. The Snorlax was a full odd shiny, so the chances of us getting that was nil. There wasn't much enjoyment in that. It became more of a laborious task. The, the Reggies, they're dead. They're so dead. The raids were really rubbish. The spawns were rubbish. So the event was a bit dead. And I, I don't really know where to film with this. Because of that, I just got into quite a bad headspace. I wasn't really feeling like making content. Tried to pick up the camera on the weekend, but then you can see this is all freshly cut grass. They cut this on the weekend and that triggered my hay fever quite substantially. You'll probably see I tweeted out and put a post on the YouTube community section saying that like, I can't film. It's like someone turned a tap on and just left it running. I could barely like breathe and talk. <laughs> and also it got so bad, my right eye swelled up. Spent most of the weekend cowering inside trying to find some hay fever medication on Amazon Prime. I was like, if there's any reason for me not to film anymore, it was the hay fever. Like it's a bad event and hay fever, so not a good combo. But get my video vibe going in so apologies for the lack of content only been out for about an hour and a bit and my nose is already being triggered with the hay fever so I'm going to go back home and top up on the old uh, antihistamine. I've done tablets, I've done nose spray, but nothing works. It's so irritating, it's like I have to spend like an hour and a half, two hours inside recuperating from having been outside for an hour because of this stupid hay fever. I would wear a face mask, which actually stopped my hay fever in the spring, but it's too hot outside to put a face mask on. I'll just be sweating like a pig. Do I sweat like a pig? Or look like I had a nose accident or something? I don't know what the choice is. Like a great choice. Yeah, thanks life. I'm trying to get more into the habit of hatching eggs on camera. This is a batch of eight seven kilometer eggs from various places for trade distance. I'll take a Valerian Farfetch. I have a Lundo that XL Candy is needed for. Those four will do very nicely. 
96%. I tried to get a batch of nine, but unfortunately I spun a stop like right at the very end. Oh, back to back Galarian Farfetch'd. I'll take it. 5XL, I think that was a lot worse, yes. It's back to sort of Galarian and um, Alolan from eggs now, I think it is. Oh my god! What? <laughs> I never had shinies! <laughs> From Summit NJ, is that uh, that's either from Hermes Ninja or Captain Bunzo? I think. Oh my god, that's incredible! I think that's my second. That is my second one. The fir very first one I got was actually during the bloody event. Ah, it was the dad trainer. The dad trainer got me one in a raid. That is an egg hatch shiny. Yes, that's sweet. Okay, can't be topped by that. You can't top that. That's family complete. We'll evolve that at the end of the video, shall we? Okay, there's a non-shiny one. How about that? Haha. -ha. The thing is, I'm just hatching these seven kilometer eggs because I want trade distance mons. You know, I want XL. And I can I can work with that. Getting a shiny in the process is bloody brilliant. Let me know if you've got if you've hatched a shiny Galarian Ponytar outside of the event. That is mental. Sadly, not a shiny Galarian Zigzagoon, which is the one that thwarted me. Also, my hay fever's now creeping back in because I'm stood still. Lolan Geodude, that is probably one of the deadest eggs you can get. Bam! Okay, three Galarian Ponytail, that might explain why we got the shiny. Oh, we've stocked up on normal eggs, god damn it. Wow. That's insane! <laughs> we got a timber raid, thanks Sue and Brandon Tan for hopping in the lobby. In fact, four, A hey, JT Valor made it. Literally with like six seconds on the lobby, so good, good stuff. Let's hope somebody gets a shiny like I did this morning. All of about six seconds to take down. Uh, it's nowhere near 100 percent but my phone screen is dipped. Level up with JT Valor. We'll get there, dude. No, damn it. Goodness sake. <laughs> Shiny magic up at 99 CP. I'm on my way to go meet Lewis, and of course we get a random freaking shiny magic harp. All sparkles are good. This is what happens when you catch absolutely everything for Stardust. You get shinies of random rubbish. Zero star. Cracking stuff, but it's a shiny. <laughs> We're about 10 minutes before Spotlight Hour kicks in, and for some reason my hay fever has now gone all the way up to 11, which is just perfect. Slowpoke, we have seen 1,916. Right. That is obviously including the recent Galarian form edition of which I got about five because I couldn't be asked. As you can see, no shiny whatsoever. So let's see, I think we can usually average about 300 checks. I will just be shiny checking, I think, this time around because genuinely this isn't helping the situation. <laughs> it has gone six o'clock, ladies and gentlemen, and of course the game hasn't switched over oh, quite wait, yet. No, no, no. There's the six o'clock balloon. We're at the slowpoke. I wanted to change the slowpoke before we transfer all of our Pokemon. There we go. There are the slowpoke. And the first thing to do is this. I hope you planned ahead and had a whole lot ready for double transfer. I did include Meltan in, in it, that's why. Let's include all of them. Transfer! None of them are any good. This is all candy. How much are we gonna get? 132 XL for Gibble. So that's a decent amount of space cleared out. So I hope you all had a good time doing that. And now I'm going to check a few slowpoke. Let's check that one. We need the shiny slowpoke. We need the damn shiny. Check number four. No. It is such a faint difference on the colour palette. Please, no. What about that one? No. We do need to chuck, I will chuck an incense on for this one. By the way, episode or oh, episode 18, I think it is, of Incense Podcast is now available. It was available on Sunday night. Definitely go and check it out. And there's one over there. No. I am overdue for the shiny, but a long way. And that's a big fat zero. Okay, we've just surpassed the halfway point. I'm coming up to the bottom cluster for the second run. My nose is horrifically sore, so forgive me. No shiny, still no shiny. Come on, I've seen probably close to two and a half thousand over the course of both the slow event and this spotlight hour. It's like, mate, game, Niantic, just hand the f***ing shiny over. Like, seriously. Um, oh, no shiny there. I got trolled because you know when it flashes white just before it pops in for the encounter? My f phone brightness decided to increase because of the, the heat. <laughs> and it just increased the paleness of the phone. I was like, oh, is it a shiny? You're like, no. So my phone trolled me. And I think that is the entire cluster checked with bugger all. 20 minutes later. Oh my God, finally. Four minutes before the end. 
Yes! <laughs> I've been walking at light speed this whole time. My first ever shiny slow poke. Yes! I have no idea how many thousands of checks this took, genuinely. Oh my god, yes. I'm so glad I've, walk I've walked so fast to make sure I got down to the bottom cluster. No XL, but there, oh, the game crashed. Are you serious? Thank I think I got it, it wasn't off incense or anything. It's in the storage. Literally four minutes to go. Are you kidding me? How many shiny? How many checks? Two, two, eight, nine. Meanwhile, might as well check this cluster on camera since we're down here. Can I like exit the thing, please? Thank you. I'm not wasting much time. Oh my god, I'm so happy with that. Yes, I can sleep easy tonight. I can sleep and I can clickbait the thumbnail and everything. I am so happy. <laughs> Uh, incense check, have we done that one? I don't know, I don't really know if it's worth going to another cluster, to be honest. Right. Uh, let's, let's just carry on, I know we've got just under just under two minutes to go. Let's see if we can get another one. A few more checks to go, we've got less than a minute. I'm just so pleased I freaking got one. Slow event didn't happen, spotlight hour comes through. Yeah, but like this, one, this one took an arm and a leg. To, genuinely, it took so freaking long. Two more checks over there, no shiny. Uh, we're not going to be able to get to the top cluster, that really would be too much. How about that one? Ooh, no. That one. Might get one more incense born for the evening. Oh, that one up there. No. Come on, one more fresh incense. One more incense born, please. Please, 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 please. Oh, they've just gone. And the incense born pops in just afterwards, and it's a emolga. A level one emolga, I think. I kicked my <laughs> Techers, that was. Thanks very much. Shiny Slowpoke is mine. Yes! <laughs> Let's see how many we caught or checked in the end. 2,313 is what we're finishing on, and we started on 1916, I think it was. Just done the calculations because I'm terrible at mental maths, but that is the most we've ever seen on Spotlight Hour, or most I've ever encountered and checked. 397 checks, and we got one shiny. I want to factor in the number of checks we did on the slow event itself. Massively overdue for a second anyway, but beautiful, we still got one. And now we can actually observe the Galarian Shiny. The Galarian Shiny goes like a golden slowpoke, which looks really cool. Not that it's overly useful, not that it's overly good, but we have one. We're parked up on a bench to finish the day. I do want to evolve this and get the shiny Galarian Rapidash done and dusted. And I can put it in gyms and be a selfish bastard. <laughs> That's how we play here. Gym domination. Look at that. That is a fantastic shiny Pokemon. That is great. I have no other words, it's amazing. Oh, it has a second. Oh, wait. if we could do that animation while we were in AR Plus and taking pictures, that'd be great, Niantic. If we search up the good old four stars, I think I probably won't have the dust and max that. Do I have. I should have planned better. What about this Gibble? Can I do the lucky one? I can. I can level 50 this lucky Gibble. Lucky Hundo. Boom. Straight up to level 50. <laughs> It was like level 8 or something, maybe even less than that, but that's a lot of Stardust burnt. And I'm not going to evolve because obviously we want the super effective, crazy cool Comde move on it. Unless we get another Elite TM. I wish I could max that, but I don't have the XL quite yet. I'm going to make sure I get the XL from the raise for this. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to round out this video here. So of course, let me know in the comments if you managed to get your shiny Slowpoke during the Spotlight Hour, or did you get it in the Slow Event last week, unlike, unlike me? What's happening next? It's, it's Regives. It's the final of the trio for the Raid Hours. So of course, I'll be live streaming for that. Make sure you tune in, come and join. The Friends List is as it was last week. So if you joined last week, you are still on the friends list. But do stop by if you're looking for shiny red ice. I'm not overly enthralled for tomorrow. Anyway, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching, everybody. Please make sure to subscribe if you are new with the notifications on so you don't miss any uploads or live streams. And of course, smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. We, we are going to hear some solstice event details tomorrow, I believe. So that's going to be happening Thursday morning at 10 a.m. So I'll make sure I'm out for that with a video. Hopefully I can get it done before the podcast starts recording on Thursday evening. It's a hectic schedule, I've got to say. But with that, I'll see you all tomorrow for Raid Hour, ladies and gentlemen. Do take care. <laughs>